Third and he's already on board. Yes, he is. Third in qualifying. <laughs> he's pedaling down yeah. the stairs. Have you seen that? Oh, look at the backhand. And he's up on point eight, point zero eight seven. Then, well, Borba then on the move here. The Brazilian downhill national champion took an amazing third place at Valparaiso three weeks ago. So he's definitely got the pace to push for the win here today. It looks to me a little more careful. He tiptoed around there, but yeah. Hans going slow to go fast. though, Claudio is bang on line, no mistakes. Up to split two now. What's it gonna be? He's into the yeah. red. Lost quite a bit in that wow. second section. I didn't think he'd lost that much time. Yeah, it was uh, it was a little visible, I would say. He was holding back. Yeah, he was keeping too it safer. Too safe. Can he pull it back? On this last staircase, gets a couple of pedals in there, 38 kilometers an hour through that speed trap. What is it here? We have one more split and it's looking, uh, no, not that fast. No, and Holgen was super fast down these stairs, don't forget. So, this man, Bob has got his work cut out to find just over half a second between here and the bomb. Oh, lands flat there, mistimes that one. Ooh. Whoa, and again. <laughs> Yeah, but it uh, yeah, what is it? Not enough. 27, Not enough. he goes second, 0.59 off only. Well, it's a strong run from Borba. He was just a tiny little bit faster yeah. on those last stairs. He was, you're right. But just a tiny little bit. And a man actually who has done some World Cup racing. Third as a junior in snowshoes, seventh at the World Championships in the junior category as well then. And it's an aggressive that start looks from him. good right there. First corner was no problem. Surely, is he going to be green or is he red at split one? He's up by 0.27. I thought he would be. Wow. Oh, yes. That corner railed. Over quarter of a second up. Remember, the sharp end of things here now. Yes, this looks like a very good attack right there. Very precise riding also. So good so far. Gets the pedals in everywhere through there as well. What's the advantage now? Over a second oh, for him, takes his foot out. Massively. Yeah. Good through there as well. Now into that slippery turn. And he doesn't take it to the wall on the outside, looking good around there. Yes, very good, very good. Actually, no sliding and slipping for him there, just smooth. And taking and now his feet into out. those last stairs. And here we go then. Big travel bike for him. Might pay oh, dividends whoa, here, it's whoa, an aggressive whoa. in. 1.4 up and split number three. Ah, oh, sends okay. the gaps. So Holgen again, massive gap there oh, as well. Yeah, 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 Holds yeah, yeah. on to it, little short on that one. Big advantage to play with. Oh, he lands flat. <laughs> I would call it clean, but Se it is definitely an attack. And it's fast, it's fast. He goes fastest wow. by nearly two seconds. 126.9. Quite the fastest time of the day, but close. What a run from Sebastian Holgen. The Colombian crowd loving that one. There he is then, Juan Favelez. A man who has incredible talent, incredible skills on a bike, sublime skills the way he rides his bicycle. As you're about to see, can he take the pressure today? The last man at the top of this hill. The biggest race run of this man's life to pull it off on home soil. It'll be at least a year before he gets another chance. Oh. One for Vela's on right, track there. There we go. What's he going to bring to this race today? What is Aggressive. He doing first turn. Aggressive. Smooth. smooth. Slides is around that fast, first though? turn. Let's have a look at this split. Well, 600 that doesn't mean anything, but that turn was railing. Yep, still right on the money then. Squashes on there hard. That's looking good, that's looking good. But he needs to push it now. Oh, oh. he slides in there. He it does take like he some risks, which is oh. a good, which shows us he's committed. Tucks the arm in around that post split. So he's going to tell us more. Is it going to be red or is it going to be green for Velez? It's more into the red, but only by another. Only 200. 200, nothing. Yes. So still absolutely on winning pace here. And the staircase is what it's going to come down to. We said it at the start of the show. And also these long turns, which he's in right now. Yeah. That is also a very important factor. Another split time coming. Oh, oh little mistake right little there. Slide that there. I've cost him some split coming up right Listen here. Listen to the crowd. Is Listen it? to the crowd what as he comes it? into this last section.
Richardson, don't get the track wet. Still for the state. 400s. 400s, can he pull it back then? He's neck and neck with Sebastian Holgan as they come down now. Look at this attack. It's going to be a Colombian win. Is it going to be this man, Juan for Velez? Yes, it's going to be. It's going to be. Juan for Velez is going to smash it. Yes, Juan for Velez wins. What? Red Bull medal in San Obaco. 125. He's done it. Look at the time. What? Velez is on top. That was insane down that staircase. He he rode the track at almost exactly the same yeah. pace all the way to the stairs and then rode those stairs two seconds faster. Well, Velez will be feeling pretty Holy good in there right now. That was insane. <laughs>